50 Cent is another person who hit the red button on any attempt to stop his run. But he did it in a much different way than Tyler. Actually, 50 took the complete opposite approach. While Tyler continued to grow with each release, 50 hasn't really grown at all. He's doing nothing. I'm thinking like they get ready to do something. Oh, hold my shirt. <laughs> Before the comment section is filled with people telling us about his business ventures, of course, 50 has grown in terms of business and is now a mogul and a hip hop icon much larger than his music. But in terms of Curtis Jackson, the person, he's remained literally the exact same. The petty yet extremely calculated dude that he was back when he was dissing Ja Rule relentlessly. Ja was a sweetheart. Okay. You, you like Ja Rule too, right? No. <laughs> yeah, you do. No. You be dancing to that. Can't make it a show. It's finished. Cause I said he's finished. Well, nearly two decades later, 50 bought 200 front row seats to Ja Rule's concert just so Ja would have to perform in front of no audience. <laughs> Yo, I tell niggas, I say, yo, I got, I got a stack, I got, ten, I got ten stacks right now. But anybody that can find footage of this foolery that this nigga's talking about. I mean, the pettiness is not even limited to his rap rivals. All within the last couple of years, Fifth has made fun of Wendy Williams' appearance, joked about Dwayne Wade's child, defended R. Kelly stood beside 6ix9ine, calling him his son, all the while being dissed by his own blood-related son. He better than Marquise, though. I'll take him before I take my actual father. <laughs> Did he just say he would claim a rat? Oh, no, I don't want no parts of that cheese I eating over here, big fella. But despite any of his antics, Fifth has become one of the most celebrated business people in the industry. He's created multiple hit shows, including one of the most popular programs on cable, Power. He's also partnered with Vitamin Water, created liquor brands, underwear lines, headphones, and more. And it's not like the attempts to cancel the former G-Unit boss haven't occurred. After Fifth made fun of Terry Crews' sexual assault, a petition with close to 40k signatures was signed asking stars to remove him from their network. But of course, nothing happened. He didn't even have to apologize, because he has consistently been the same guy. I mean, he even went as far as to tell fans to cancel their star subscription after a public feud with producers of the show. He's always been unapologetically himself. Even his attempt at speaking out against cancel culture would have backfired on so many people, but he came out clean. 50 told Variety that cancel culture's biggest target was straight males, saying that, quote, inferior demographics are now more superior than heterosexual males because we have no organization. According to 50, he has never lost out on a business opportunity because of his antics. And as long as he remains the same old fifth, he is also uncancelable. You can't cancel somebody when you know exactly who they are and who they've always been. <laughs>